Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on our dynamic duo. Welcome, my name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading and this promises to be a really good presentation because I'm going to be giving you a lot of great free information which you can start using very early concerning the dynamic duo. And the reason why we call it that is because oftentimes in today's market you need more than just one technique to actually give you that added level of consistency. And through the years, uh, we found that one of our best strategies, as long uh, as it's connected with a confirmation technique, really increases your odds for uh, having that consistency that you're looking for. Now, I see we have a lot of uh, current students in uh, the classroom today, as well as a lot of new people. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with specialist trading, we are first and foremost an educational company. Now we do provide all of our students and all of our members with strategies and signals on those strategies so that they can learn what to look for and what to spot. But we don't really just want to force feed you signals and have you blindly take them because it's our opinion, our philosophy at Specialist Trading, the reason why upwards of 80% of all traders fail is because you're relying on an outside source to tell you what to do. I mean, think of your own trading right now. Are you going to some trade room or chat room trying to get the answers on what to buy or sell? Or are you relying on some trading guru telling you what to buy or sell in their newsletter or on TV? This is what the majority of most traders uh, do in their process of trading. And I know firsthand because this is the way I used to trade. But what we want to do is give you all of the tips and techniques that I've accumulated in my 38 years of trading so that we can format some type of trading plan for you so that ultimately you'll make your own trading decisions and get on that road to consistency. Now, as I stated, I've been trading for 38 years. I started on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 of those years and nine I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin and Genrette. I traded through the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed after. So I've seen and traded and heard about just about every market uh, strategy, system, environment imaginable. So I know what works in terms of consistency and what doesn't. And this is what I teach all of my students. Now, before we begin, before I show you what these two techniques are, what the dynamic duo is, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you some performance results and a lot of slides that give examples of the dynamic duo in action. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Now, for those of you who are not yet signed up or following us yet, I invite each and every one of you also to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for Specialist Trading, at S-P-C-L-S-T-T-R-A-D-G. You may want to write that down because I post a lot of great free information on a daily basis and not just information in terms of stocks but also currency pairs and the futures market. So we, we post uh, from time to time signals, current signals that we're in. In fact, we had a great buy signal uh, using the dynamic duo in Google just the other day and we posted that as well for all the people on Twitter. Now, also our uh, uh, sister site is Pro Trader Strategies, okay? So we're affiliated with Pro Trader Strategies in that they market and promote all of my courses and all of my studies. So you can also go to Facebook and uh, log on there and uh, just type in ProTrader Strategies and there will be a lot of more great information as well. A lot of videos and a lot of great free information. Okay, so as I stated before we begin, we are an educational company. And the reason I state this is because my first year or so trading, I had a very difficult time. I've made no secret about it. Even though I was on the floor and I was privy to a lot of inside information in terms of the book and what uh, you know certain buyers were and where certain sellers were, uh, I really had a very difficult time. I was overcomplicating my trading and I wasn't just focusing on what the market was trying to tell me. So my mentors had me simplify my trading and that's when I started to become consistent. So this is what has gotten me on the road to consistency and this is what I try to instill in all of our students and all of our members. So like I said earlier, even though we provide all of our members with signals and with uh, you know dates and entries, exit points, stop placement, we're more about just giving you that as information so that you can ultimately learn how to spot them on your own and just basically make your own trading decisions. We do not want to trade for you. All right, as so many other websites do. We do not want to tell you where to buy, where to sell. We simply want to pass on the information and then have you decide to trade it aggressively, conservatively, uh, or even if you don't want to take the trade at all. It's totally up to you. We do not teach or trade systems. We teach and trade uh, strategies. Okay, so 
Let's talk about the two methods. And before we begin, just two other things. I know a lot of you are always uh, wanting to ask questions, but I have a lot of information. I don't want to uh, slow down the process today. So if you have questions, kindly wait till the very end. I see some people are already asking questions, and I'm not going to answer any of them until the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes of the presentation. So just write them down. I'll only answer one question, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So we record all of our presentations. If you are having trouble hearing or if uh, you came in late, uh, you can request a link to this just going to Pro Trader Strategies. All right. But if you have any questions, just please wait till the very end to ask them. OK. Also, uh, we're going to start out by showing you some older charts just for educational purposes. But later on in the presentation, I will show you charts as recent as today, just a few hours ago. So don't be dismayed if you see an older chart that's perhaps a year or so old. That's okay. They're mainly just to show you what to look for. Later on, you'll see the process in action very currently, okay? All right, so here's our dynamic duo. These are the two methods we want to concentrate on because we've shown very high levels of consistency, not only in our personal trading, but in our members as well. Method number one is simply the pet D. All right, that is the primo early trend detector. Now, a lot of people say, well, is this, is this a strategy? Is this a system? No, the pet D is neither of those. What it is is a proprietary algorithm. This was a formula I was, I was taught to and I learned on the floor of the stock exchange some 30 years ago. Okay, the only trouble was we had to figure it out by hand now. So we were able to uh, use some programmers and with high speed computers, we were able to make a proprietary algorithm where we identify the short term trend. That's its main function. The pet D is really not a trading strategy. It's not a system, but it's a great tool to tell you uh, and very fine tune what the trend is. All right. Many times it will identify the trend prior to so-called conventional wisdom or conventional ways of telling you what the trend is. Even prior to news. I'll show you that in a couple of examples today. So how have we put this together? Well, we've developed a color bar tool. So what it is is a simple color bar tool that automatically colors the bars either green or red. Now, if you see a series of green bars here, or the majority of the bars are green, that's simply telling you that the short-term trend is up. Okay? Now, this is an ideal scenario right here, as well as this. If you see a series of red bars or all of the bars, such as this ideal scenario is portrayed, well, then the short-term trend is down. And that's how simple it is, but I'm going to show you how powerful this tool is. All right, let's look at an older chart of Twitter here, TWTR. As we see here, we started out looking at this older chart. We had a, a severe uh, uh, downward move, okay? Now, say you had been long this stock. What most people do is they usually are holding on, and then they will exit somewhere around down here, all right? Just in time for the trend to change and go back up. This is the way most traders trade. I know personally this is the way I used to trade. This is why I had no consistency when I was first trading on the floor. So now what the PET D does is tell us oftentimes in advance when these trends are be going to begin, therefore giving you an indication whether you should stay in or get out. All right, so if we simply add the color bar algorithm, we now see that the colors have changed on uh, the bars here. So in the beginning, we had a series of green bars, and then we were met by some red, telling us that we were now in a downtrend. We had just a few bars turn green and then go back to red, but then the majority bars turn green, telling us that we were now in an uptrend. Okay, so this is how simple it is to be in sync with the trend. But here's the rule of thumb. We usually want to wait for three consecutive color bars to tell us that we are in a trend. This is a conservative way. So in other words, it's not just enough to see one bar change color. We want to have a little bit more uh, conservative uh, trading approach. So we wait for three bars. So right here, even though Twitter turned red right up at these levels, we wanted to wait at this point. So at this point, it's pretty much uh, certain that we're in a downtrend. So you could have exited a position and missed all of this. Now, if you wanted to get back in, all you have to do is wait for three consecutive green bars. Now, we had two right here, not enough to get us in. As you see, price dropped again. But then we had three right here, and that's where the trend resumed. We can also apply this to the futures. Here's a weekly chart of the E-mini. Now, this is going back all the way back to 2013, some two and a half years ago nearly. All right. Now, obviously, in hindsight, we've been in an uptrend. But we didn't know that coming in. We actually, uh, many times, people have said what's going on in the world or news events or uh, terrorist attacks, things of that nature. The market is definitely going to top out. 
Okay. Well, looking back in hindsight, the market never did top out. In fact, we continue to go higher and higher. How could we have applied this on a weekly basis? Well, we simply apply the PET D to these weekly charts and we see that the majority of bars had been green the entire time up. Sure, we've had maybe one or two red bars, but for the entire time, we've never had more than two red bars to the downside. So what has this been telling us? Even in this sharp sell-off here last October, it was still telling us to remain long until you see three green bars. So you can use this once again as a trend identifying tool for your longer term approach. You can also use this on short term time frames, a four hour time frame in the currency pairs. It doesn't matter what market we're looking at, what time frame. Okay, here's a four hour chart of the currency pairs. A lot of currency traders like to trade on that time frame. Obviously, looking back in hindsight, the British pound has been going lower. How did we know that now? How could we have known in advance to either not be long the British pound in this scenario or at least to look to see uh, if we should be on the sidelines or, or go short? Well, all we did was apply the PET D and we see that we've been red the entire time down and right up here, way up at, at these high levels, we had three consecutive red bars. Okay, so way up here, you could have exited your British pound position or once we had three consecutive red bars, you could have started looking for shorting opportunities all the way down. Now this technique of waiting for three bars works much better the longer time frame you go out. So obviously if you're trading five minute bars, because there's a lot of whipsaw and a lot of volatility back and forth, it may not work as well. But once you start going to hourly charts, daily, weekly, even monthly, this three bar rule works extremely well. In fact, if we were to want to go out as much as we can, let's look at a monthly chart of the S&P 500 index, okay, the dollar INX. We're going back 20 years, and as we see here, we started out in 1995. Look at all the peaks and valleys. We made a real nice top here in 2000 before the bubble burst, the dot-com bubble, and we fell straight out of bed, okay? And then we bottomed out in 2003 and went straight back up until 2007, 2008, until the financial crisis hit there with the banking uh, crisis, and then we fell out of bed again. Then once again in 2009 or 2010, we started going back higher, and we've been going up ever since. All right, what if you're a long-term investor? Wouldn't you have liked to know when we've topped out or when we bottomed out if you're a long-term type of investor for your portfolio? Well, sure. All you have to do is apply the PET D, and you see here all the way up, all the majority of the bars are green until right here at this point in 2000 where you had three consecutive red bars, so you could have missed this entire dot-com crash all the way down. And then if you wanted to get back into your portfolio, your IRA, you could have gotten back in in 2003 with three consecutive green bars all the way up to 2007, 2008, where you would have exited at this point and missed all of the banking crisis debacle. And once again, in 2010, we have three consecutive green bars. And even though we have a red every once in a while, remember, we're waiting for three consecutive red bars and you've been long ever since. You see how powerful this tool is, but please let me reiterate, this is not a strategy. It's not a strategy that generates buy and sell signals. It's simply a trend identifying tool, okay? So that's the beauty of it. It will tell you often in advance, even before news events. In fact, let's talk about news and how well this works in the face of news, because I know so many traders, myself included, used to love to wait for news events. In fact, when I was on the floor, I couldn't wait till the money supply came out. I, I know that's probably a lot of you aren't familiar with that, but that's what we used to look at. That was the big thing. Every, uh, I believe it was every Thursday, that's when the money supply came out after the close. So it, we, we would be totally flat, all of our positions, until we saw what the money supply was. Now everyone is looking at earnings, at uh, jobless claims, at what's going on in Europe or in the world, and you can't make a decision until that happens to tell you what the trend is, okay? Well, let's see how the PET-D can actually tell us in advance of news. We look here at an older chart of Open Table, okay? Now we realize that Open Table was bought out, but let's say you were interested in this stock uh, this past year. But looking at this chart right now, you say to yourself, well, there's no real clear-cut direction. There's no trend. In fact, we're just kind of going sideways. So I'm not going to do something until I get a little bit more verification or unless until some news comes out. So in other words, you sat on the sideline. Even though you liked open table, you didn't do anything because the chart is basically going sideways. And then lo and behold, look what happens. One night after the close, an announcement comes out, and they're bought out by Priceline, I believe. And you miss this entire run-up 
of roughly about 30 or 40 points to the upside, okay? You're kicking yourself because you're saying, well, I had no idea that the, you know, the, the chart didn't show me anything and I couldn't get any clear-cut idea before that news came out. Well, that's not really true. If you applied the PET D, you would have seen that the green bars started a clear, nearly a clear three to four weeks before the uh, buy signal came out. So you would have known prior to that that we were in an uptrend. So the PET D gave an uptrend signal three weeks before the buyout announcement. So once you saw three uh, consecutive green bars on the 27th of May, you could have started looking for a buy setup. And I can just tell you from right the remaining two or three weeks, there were a number of buy setups using our strategies and techniques. How about uh, Starbucks? This was just this past month. Once again, looking at this, let's say you're interested in Starbucks, but you're saying to yourself, there's no real clear-cut direction here. I need a little bit more of uh, validity behind this, so I'm not going to do anything. And then on the 21st, lo and behold, they announce their earnings and the stock shoots up. Now at this point, when it gaps up the next day around three or four points, you're too frightened to do anything because you don't want to pay up that much. So you miss the entire move. And then after that, you're probably chasing it or just kicking yourself for not doing anything. Well, if we would have applied the PET D, that would have given you some type of early warning because it gave an uptrend signal two days before the earnings announcement. So you would have known that you were in an uptrend having three consecutive green bars, and you could have you know, used one of our techniques or one of our strategies to enter along into Starbucks. I can see right now, once again, there's a buy signal right here. And then lastly, just about three weeks ago, in Amazon, okay? Once again, let's say you're interested in Amazon, but there's no clear-cut direction. It's kind of in a rangy market, going down, going back up, going down lower. So you don't do anything. Even though you like the stock, you don't do anything because you're not sure of the direction. But lo and behold, on the 29th, they also come out with their earnings, and look what happens. The stock was trading at 310. It opens up roughly around 350. That's too high for you. It's too late. You don't want to chase it, so you miss the entire move. But had you applied the PET-D, you would have seen that PET-D gave an uptrend signal five days before the earnings announcement. All right? We were in a completely red downward move, but then five days prior to that earnings announcement, there was a total of all green bars. So you could have looked for some type of buy signal, which, once again, I can see here, knowing our, our strategies, that there were, there were a, a few buy signals generated. So we've seen how well the PET D is a trend identifier. It tells us often in advance what the trend is. And really, that's uh, half the battle right there, because oftentimes traders lose, not because they have a wrong idea or not because uh, their uh, you know, strategy or method is faulty, but many times they fail simply because they're uh, out of sync with the trend, okay? So once you know the trend, uh, it really solves a lot of the problems, okay? But remember, it's just the trend we're looking at. It's just, uh, you know, we've solved the problems with knowing what side of the market to be on. But we still have to have some structure. We still have to know where to place our entry, where to place our stop, what to look for, what pattern to look for, where to exit. All right. Well, this brings us to probably our most consistent method for trading virtually any market, any time frame, in any direction. That's strategy number four. Once again, I was taught this strategy some 30 years ago on the floor, and I almost use it on a daily basis along with the pet D. So what is strategy number four? Well, here are some of the highlights. It's virtually for traders looking to catch quick momentum moves. That's the way it was designed. And for all traders, from beginners to advanced. So it doesn't matter whether you've been trading 30 years or 30 minutes. Everyone gets the same rules. Everyone gets the same basic format. Okay? Now, its intensity level from 1 to 3, with 1 being the most intense type of strategy where you have to be glued in front of your computer screen all day, and 3 being the least where you can just basically enter an order and walk away, it's a number two. In other words, it's a very moderate type of strategy to trade, very relaxed and easygoing strategy. In fact, it only uses one indicator. That's why it's so simple to apply. And I'm going to share with you what that indicator is in just a few moments. It's basically a pattern recognition strategy where we need to look back roughly at about 10 bars. Now, the beauty of strategy number four is that it transfers onto any time frame, any direction, and any market. So, you know, let's say uh, you're on the sidelines thinking, well, you know, I'm not sure this is right for me because, you know, I trade e-mini futures, but at the same time, I also trade the Forex markets. It doesn't matter. This strategy will work in any of those markets, okay, in any direction. Now, as members of our course, 
we automatically furnish you with buy and sell arrows that are generated on your charting uh, software platform. And we basically give you this, once again, not so that you can just blindly take those signals, but as a learning tool so that you'll know what to look for. Ultimately, you won't have to rely on them, though, because you'll know what the process is. Remember, our edge here at Specialist Trading is not promising you the world. Our edge is consistency. We're not like a lot of other websites where we say you're going to generate so many thousand percent uh, a month where you're going to be able to sustain yourself and, and trade for a living in the first couple of weeks. We don't believe in that and we don't even talk about such things. Remember, as I stated in the beginning, we are only an educational company. We give you all the tools, all the tips and strategies you need, but then we format some type of plan for you so that you can ultimately just make your own decisions. In other words, you can decide whether you want to trade conservatively, you can decide whether you want to trade aggressively, so that two traders with the same strategy can have entirely different results. Maybe one trader makes a couple points, another trader makes 10 points. So there's no way to come up with any statistics. We're not a statistical company. I know a lot of you at the end of this presentation will be asking me, well, Steve, what's the win-loss ratio or what's the worst case drawdown? There's no way to tell because this uh, strategy is traded a million and one ways. Okay. Everyone has a different way in which to trade it. But what we're doing is providing you with things that have shown consistency, things that have stood the test of time. And strategy number four is uh, one of our best strategies, and I know firsthand because I use it, as I stated, almost on a daily basis. Now, here's one of the rules, what we're looking for. I'm going to share with you two of the rules, and we're looking for, in the setup, in this pattern, we're looking for a bar that closes in the top 25%. If we find that, well, then this is giving us an indication to buy. So in other words, when we say the top 25%, you take the high of the bar and the low of the bar, okay, whatever range that is, let's just say that range is four points. Well, then you just divide the bar by four separate equal parts, and the top quarter or the top 25% is where you want to see the bar close. So as you see here, we close at the very top, and that's good. That's an indication to buy because what it is telling us, not some trading guru or not some chat room, but the market, the bar you're looking at, whether it's a five-minute bar or a monthly bar, is telling you that most likely it's going to continue in that direction. By closing in the top 25%, it's most likely telling you it's going to continue. So this is a great edge. This is a better edge than you can get from any trading guru or any indicator because it's the actual market telling you that most likely it's going to continue in that direction. So this is one of the things we're looking for in the rules of the strategy. Now, conversely, we're also looking for a bar that closes in the bottom 25%. Same scenario here. We just turned it upside down. Why? Because we now have an indication to sell. It's the market telling us that most likely we're going to continue in a downward direction. Now, this technique can work on a five-minute time frame. It can work on a tick bar chart. It can work on a range bar. It can work on a, a monthly, weekly, daily bar. It doesn't matter. The whole point is it's the market giving us a clue. So if you say, well, Steve, I only trade uh, intraday hourly charts, fine. Then, you know, use this uh, technique on that. That's the beauty of strategy number four. It does not matter what time frame, what direction, or what market we're applying this to. Now, here is the second rule I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm giving you two free rules here. The this, this strategy has roughly about five rules. I'm giving you two of them. Once you get a buy signal, it can only be entered above the 50-period moving average, okay? So, in other words, if you see this scenario perfectly, all the requirements are met for a buy setup, but your entry is below the 50-period, you cannot take it. Your entry must be above the 50. Now, conversely, if you get a sell signal, well, you can only enter it if it's below the 50. So, your entry must be below the 50. This is another way of assuring that we're in the overall sync with the trend, the overall trend, okay? So let's look at some examples, and then once again, I know many of you are looking at this and the way other presenters like to take questions. Please wait to any questions you may have, and we'll answer them probably within about 15 or 20 minutes from now. Let's start out and show you how well this works on stocks. And then once again, I'm going to show you some older charts that may be six months or even a year old, just for educational purposes, just to show you how this uh, process unfolds. But then I'll show you also charts that happened as uh, recent as just a few hours ago. All right, let's start off with stocks for the stock traders. Here's a chart in ABC, all right? Firstly, we can see that we are above the 50-period moving average. So this means that 
our entries are going to be above the 50 period. This means that we're only going to be buying. There is no way we will be selling because price is above the 50 period moving average. And we see here, without giving away all the rules, these are three valid setups, and each one of these bars closed in the top 25% of the range. Now, obviously, there are other bars that close in the top 25% of the range, such as this one, such as this one, but they are not meeting all of the other rules, the requirements of the strategy. Remember, we're only looking at strategy number four. We're not just looking at those two uh, different requirements. But all of these met with all the other requirements, and so these were all buy signals. And as you can see, each one would have generated a gain, a profit. We can't share with you this, the heat stop placement or the exits. I know a lot of you are saying, well, where would I have gotten out? Where would I place my stop? Uh, if we do that, we might as well just give you the strategy for free. Remember, we're trying to educate you here, but it, it's not in anyone's best interest if we just give it away for free, especially it wouldn't be fair to the people who have spent uh, their good money on this strategy. How about FSLR? Okay, we ask ourselves where price is in relation to the 50 period moving average. Obviously, price is below. So what does this tell us? It tells us that if we're going to enter long, we cannot take any buy signals because price is below the 50. This means we can only enter short. All right, now if we look at the rules for strategy number four, here were three distinct sell signals, all closing in the bottom 25% of their range, and each one would have generated a profit, okay, depending on how you wanted to trade it, conservatively or aggressively. How about UA? Now this is an older example, but just to show you how you can apply this, how many times strategy number four will give you signals well before a news announcement comes out. Why? Because we feel, it's our philosophy, that everything is in the price already. The market is always trying to give you clues as to what it wants to do. Therefore, there's really no need to listen to news or news events or wait for earnings or indications because it's, everything is already in, intact within the chart. Now, uh, this uh, particular example, we don't see the 50 period simple moving average, but price was above the 50. So this is telling us we're only looking for buy setups. And here is the buy setup. We closed in the top 25% of our range, and it met all the other rules of the strategy, which are taken into account all these other bars. So this was our setup to buy. So we would have purchased, either if you wanted to be aggressive, you could have purchased that day or the next day, and then look what happened. Okay, The stock started to go higher, went roughly from 58 all the way up to 61, but then it really took off on some news announcement five days later all the way up to 70. So that was a good uh, 11 points in just about four days. Once again, it was probably fueled by the news announcement, but no one from uh, the company called us up four days in advance and said, hey, uh, tell your members to go long because there's going to be an announcement in UA and we're going to gap up around 10 points higher. No, everything we saw we got from the, the chart pattern and from the stock. How about CMG? Now, this is I show you this example because we have many people who trade strategy number four, but solely by using options. Now, this is a good $500, $600 stock. We realize a lot of people can't purchase this. So uh, what a lot of our members do is they, they purchase options. And you can do the same thing once you get a buy signal. Rather than purchasing the stock or selling the stock, all you have to do is, is purchase long calls or purchase long puts. Now, in this case, we had some members here who saw this signal that was generated, and they purchased some long calls on the day that a buy signal was generated. The stock really didn't do much the next day, but then look what happened. CMG gapped up tremendously, and that was a 75-point gain in just two days. Once again, the company didn't call us up and say, tell your members we're going to have a 75-point gain and tell them to go long. We got all the information to generate a buy signal from the chart itself. Price is above the 50, meaning that there's no way we're going to go short. And we see a bar here that closed in the top quarter of its range, along with all the other requirements. And remember, it's extremely simple. There aren't a ton of other requirements, maybe only four more left in the strategy. So let's look at some more examples that are more current. Here are two examples in RAI generated just in the last two or three weeks, both buy signals, strategy number four, and look what has happened since. We can also apply this technique to the E-mini S&P. Remember, the beauty of strategy number four is that it works in any market in any time frame. So all we have to do is simply start out with a higher time frame. We can look at daily bars. Now, these are actual signals that are generated that our E-mini course members would have been privy to. We see here that price is oscillating below, above, below, back above the 50-period moving average. 
That's okay. Remember, as long as our entry to go long is above the 50 period moving average, it's valid. As long as our entry to go short is below the 50 period moving average, it's valid. So we just wait to see if all the requirements are met in the strategy, and then we see that we actually had roughly four signals in the past uh, month or so. Okay? We had a really nice signal generated here to go long on the 17th, followed by another one to go long on the 9th of January. Each one had a really nice profit of roughly 30 to 40 points. And then uh, we had one generated just a few weeks ago on the 3rd to go long here, the E-mini entering above the 50 period moving average. And then another one, a second one, if you were still in this position, you could have doubled and uh, purchased more on the 20th. Another signal was generated. These are all signals that are generated and all uh, uh, privy to our members in the course. Now we can go down to a 10 minute time frame, all right? This is, you see here in the lower left hand corner, this was on the 24th. This was just, I believe, Tuesday of this past week, just a few days ago. Price is above the 50 period moving average. So what does that tell us? It says the overall trend is up. I've been using this technique since I was working on the floor and it is probably one of the most powerful techniques for determining the overall trend. It doesn't matter if I'm looking at a 10 minute time frame or a weekly bar or a monthly bar. You should always have a 50 period moving, uh, a 50 period moving average plotted on your screen and then just ask yourself, where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average? If it's above the 50 as it is here in this 10 minute chart, then you're only looking for long scenarios. Okay? So we're only looking for long scenarios and look at all the buy setups that were generated just two days ago on this 10 minute chart using strategy number four. Now we can also apply this to Forex. This strategy works extremely well in the Forex markets. We see here that it will catch the trends whether the trend is up, the overall trend is up, or the overall trend is down. The first part of this chart, the overall trend is up because price is above the 50. But then somewhere in May, the mid-May uh, month, it goes below the, the 50 period moving average. So now the overall trend is down. Remember, we're not talking about the short term trend like the PET D. We're talking about the overall trend. Okay? So, all you have to do are apply the same techniques. We had two buy setups while the trend was the overall trend was up, and then three sell setups while the overall trend was down. These are all strategy number four setups using daily bars of the euro dollar. Now I've showed you a number of great setups. I'm not going to sit here though, like so many other presenters do, and tell you that they're 100% profitable. From time to time, you will have some minor losses, such as this. Let me show you this example. Okay, this is an older chart in SNDK. Now, at this point, a buy signal was generated. We're above the 50 period moving average. We have a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. So it meets all the other requirements of the bars going back. So you say to yourself, well, uh, I just purchased this. Uh, boy, that guy sounded pretty good. He sounded like he knew what he was doing. So I'm going to buy SNDK. And so you purchase it and look what happens. It goes straight down. All right. Now, at this point, you're probably throwing out your computer out the window and, and cursing at me saying this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So about two or three weeks later, you're still following it, and you see that another signal is generated to go long, another buy signal as designated by the automatic up and down arrows. Now at this point, you don't trust it anymore. You had a, a large loss on that because you tried to trade aggressively and you didn't use the proper stop placement, but that's okay. It was still a loss, and you're not going to take the second signal because you're a little bit gun shy now, so you sit back and then lo and behold, that one works. So you would have made all the money you lost on the previous trade and probably more. So this may happen from time to time. Once again, I'm not going to pr promise you and, and promise the world saying that every signal uh, works out perfectly. But we have to ask ourselves, how can we increase our odds for success? Because nothing works 100% of the time, regardless of it's strategy number four or one of the other strategies you may be trading. So how can we increase our odds for success even more to give us that confidence to actually take the trade? We combine the pet D with strategy number four, and this produces the dynamic duo. This is what we've seen so many members and so many students tell us that for the first time they've achieved that consistency that they've been looking for by applying these two techniques. This is Specialist Trading's dynamic duo. Okay, so how do we apply this? If you get a buy signal with strategy number four, you're only going to trade those signals that are colored green, okay, because you're applying the pet D. Now, conversely, if strategy number four generates a sell signal, oh, first of all, I'm sorry, let's, let's look at this chart once again with SNDK. Now, here were the two original buy signals. 
Obviously, this one did not work out, and this one did. How could we have known in advance which signal to take? Well, they're both buy signals, so this means we only want to take signals that are colored green, now that we have the dynamic duo. So let's apply the pet D, and we see here that the first buy signal was colored red. So what is this telling us? It tells us that we should not take the trade, because it's generating a buy signal where the overall trend is up, but the short-term trend is down. So we don't want to have our two trends out of sync. So it's best not to take the trade, and therefore you would have bypassed that losing trade. Now the second signal that was generated was colored green, telling you that the short-term trend had now changed up and it was in sync with the overall trend. So applying the dynamic duo, you would have completely bypassed a losing trade and stayed in to the winning trade. All right, now I spoke ahead of myself, let's go on to sells. If strategy number four generates a sell signal, we're not just going to blindly take it, we're going to wait for that setup bar to be colored red. That will tell us that we are in sync with the short-term trend and we have confirmation to take the trade. We've now just ramped up our odds for uh, a successful trade. Not, not guaranteeing, but at least giving us a little bit more consistency. If we look at this older chart in ROST, we see here that we are below the 50 period moving average. So that's telling us the overall trend is down. And strategy number four, as exemplified by the four down red arrows, is telling us that we have four signals to go short. But which one should we take? Because we see the first three signals didn't really generate any gains at all. In fact, most likely, if you're just trading conservatively, you would have been stopped out on the first three signals. Well, all we have to do is apply the pet D. And remember, if we're going short, our sell signal must be colored red. But we see here the first three sell signals were colored green. So what does that say? It's telling us that the pet D is calculating that the short-term trend is still up. So we don't want to be out of sync with the overall trend, so we shouldn't have taken those trades. But guess what? On the very last trade, or the very last setup, I should say, the pet D got in sync with the overall trend. The pet D colored the bar red. So that's the only trade you should have taken, and then look what happened. Okay? You see how when we combine these two, we really ramp up our odds for having a consistency in our trading. All right, so let's look at some recent dynamic duo examples. If we look here at WYN, we see here we, that we had two buy signals, okay? One, once again, did not work out. The first one didn't work out. The second one did. How could we have known in advance which one to take, which one not to? We simply apply the PET D, and we see here that the first buy signal was colored red. Therefore, it's not a valid signal to take. But the second one was colored green, and you could have taken that one and had a nice gain in WYN. How about Tiffany? Okay, here looking at this uh, chart, this was just about a month ago. Price is pretty much above the 50 period moving average and the overall trend is up. And guess what? Strategy number four generated a buy signal. All right, but we want to confirm it with the short term trend. Remember, buy signal must be colored green. We add the pet D and the pet D colors it red. In fact, it's been telling us since the last three or four days, the short term trend has been down. So there's no reason to go long now. All right, so you would have bypassed this and look what happened. Now obviously some news came out about three days later where the stock gapped down about 10 points. Once again, the people, the CEO at Tiffany and company didn't call us up and tell us to warn all of our members to exit the stock. We didn't have to have that information. The, the chart told us everything we needed to know along with the pet D. See how simple things are when you just really clear away the clutter and all the conventional wisdom that we've been taught is supposed to help us. In all actuality, in my experience, those are the things that actually lead us down the road to being unsuccessful. It's only when you uncomplicate your trading that you start to become more successful or more consistent. So we don't care about news. We don't care about someone in a trading room. We don't care about what's going on in the world. We only care about the chart in front of us. How about NFX, all right? This is just about three weeks ago. Two buy signals were generated, and both of them were profitable. How could we have known in advance whether to take them or not? We simply apply the PET D, and we see that both signals were colored green, so this is what gave us the confidence to take each one of those signals. ABX, okay? Obviously, looking back in hindsight, this has been in a clear-cut downtrend, okay? There's no reason anyone here looking back in hindsight would say, well, uh, I should have bought these, okay? 
looking back, you see that the only thing you should have been doing is going short. But we didn't know that uh, some two months ago or three or four months ago looking at this in hindsight. How would we have been able to at least stay out of trouble? Well, we applied the PET D. Remember, the first buy signal didn't work out at all. But the second signal to go short did work out. A buy signal should be colored green. A red, a, I'm sorry, a sell signal should be colored red. Well, we apply the PET D and we see that the buy signal was colored red. So therefore, we would not have taken it, but the sell signal was colored red. So this gave us the confidence to take it, and we could have reaped all of this strong move to the downside. BBY generated two signals. The first one went up for a little bit. If you wanted to be a really quick trader, you could have made a little money, but then look what happened. Most likely, you would have been stopped out. The second signal generated a very nice gain. Both are strategy number four uh, signals. Both are using the exact same rules. Which one should you have taken? Well, a buy signal should be only colored green. Once we apply the PET D, we see that the first buy signal was colored red, telling you not to take the trade. Most likely, the odds were not in your favor. But the second signal was telling you that the odds were in your favor because the short-term trend was in sync with the uh, longer-term trend. About Yahoo, this is just going back since the beginning of this year. We see here that we have two clear-cut sell signals generated by strategy number four. Now, even if you had not applied the PET D to the first signal, you would have had a nice trade here. That just shows you the consistency with strategy number four on its own. But applying the PET D, you would have taken it because the bar was colored red and you had a nice move to the downside. But then, just about a month ago, another signal was generated to go short. Should we take this one? Sure, it's colored red as well. So you could have taken the second signal to go short Yahoo, and look what happened coming into the last week or so. GPC generated two signals. The first one was very profitable, moving to the upside. The second one would have probably turned into a loser, okay? In fact, a pretty bad loser. They're both buy signals, so they both should have been colored green. Well, the first one was colored green, so that gave you the confidence to take the trade. The second one was colored red. In fact, the PET D was telling you for the last three days we were in a short-term downtrend. So it's not good to take a buy signal if the short-term is out of sync with the overall trend. So you would have missed that move to the downside. How about Verizon? This is just going back about three weeks from now. Once again, we had three signals, two sells and one buy. Now, the first signal worked out very nicely just using strategy number four on its own. Now, if we apply the PET D, we see that it was also colored red. So this is probably the reason why this worked out rather nicely. But then later on, just about two weeks ago, a buy signal was generated, and it was confirmed by the PET D. It was colored green. The next day, while you're still in the long uh, trade because you haven't exited yet, a sell signal is generated. And this will happen from time to time when price oscillates above and below the 50-period moving average and meets all the other requirements. So should you exit your long and go short? Stop and reverse? Well, only if the sell signal was generated uh, and had a red color to it. As we see here, the sell signal was generated, but the color was green. So you would not even consider going short, and you would remain long Verizon. And look what happened. See how the pet D told you in advance, the odds are in your favor if you stay long. Uh, this is an older chart of uh, SLV, that's the ETF for silver. Uh, we don't have the 50-period moving average plotted here because price was well below, but trust me, price is below the 50-period, so that means only sell signals should have been generated. If we're generating sell signals, that means all of the sell setups should be colored red. And once we apply the PET D, we see that all of those strategy number four sell signals were colored red, giving you the confidence to take the trade and go short. Now, that was in silver. If we update it and look at it gold now, this was just at the beginning of the year, just a couple of months ago, we see here that price was oscillating below, above, below, but then back above the 50-period moving average. On this particular day here, the first week of January, strategy number four generated a buy signal in GLD. That's the ETF for gold. All right? Now, this is a tough one to take because you see that every time price went above the 50 period, it immediately went back below. So you're maybe a little gun shy or a little hesitant to take this setup. And you don't want to go long gold. But then again, you have the PET D. So all you have to do is apply the PET D, and you see that the bar is colored green. So you have the confidence to go long gold. And look what happened in the first month of the year. 
You can also apply this to crude oil, okay? Obviously, price is below the 50-period moving average, so that means strategy number four is only generating sell signals. You had three sell signals generated starting in October, and the pet D colored them all red. We can also apply this to a weekly chart of the E-mini. Remember we showed you this earlier. These are all buy signals generated using strategy number four, and each one would have worked out very nicely, but once we add the pet D, we have the confidence to take them as well. So you could purchase options on this or futures on a weekly time frame. Now this is a weekly chart. We know that a lot of people aren't trading weekly charts of the E-mini, so we can go to a daily chart, and here was something that was very recent just about two weeks ago where two signals once again were generated. Here's the first buy signal. You would have entered above the 50, but then the very next day, a sell signal was generated. Which one do you take? Which one do you stay in? Well, this is where it gets difficult if you're just trading strategy number four by itself. But if you apply the pet D, you see that both bars are green. And remember, a green can only be associated with a buy setup. So you would have taken the buy setup, the very first signal, and just you know, discarded the second one. You wouldn't have even paid any attention to it. And we see here what has happened in the E-mini coming up to this past week. Now those are daily charts. We can go to a five-minute time frame. We look in the lower left-hand corner. This was on the 9th of February. This was just a week or so ago. Price is pretty much above and below the 50-period moving average. We have a sell signal colored red that generated a nice uh, downward move on a five-minute time frame. Now, this is the one setup where it probably didn't work out very well. In fact, you would have to have been a very aggressive trader to make money on this one. So this is, you know, we're just showing you in good faith that not every signal is going to be 100% correct. But let's just say you had taken this signal and generated a small loss with having a very small uh, stop loss and gotten out of that. Well, that's okay because a signal to go short was generated just about a half an hour later. You could have made back all the money on this trade here to the downside and then taken another one and made even more profits on the last signal. And once again, if we look at the currency pairs, here's a daily chart of the Canadian dollar. These are all buy signals just using strategy number four. If we want to trade with the confidence of the pet D, we simply add it and we see that each and every one of those signals was colored green. And we don't just stop on daily bars, we can look at a weekly time frame. Here was a strategy number four sell signal generated in the euro dollar last July to go short on a weekly time frame. Now, everyone who trades currency pairs knows that the, the euro dollar has been going down for quite some time. Well, strategy number four generated a sell signal on a weekly basis last July. Now, you could have taken it just simply based off strategy number four, but to have a little bit more confidence, you apply the pet D, and you notice that all of the bars, even the ones that were above the 50-period moving average, are all red. So the pet D was giving you advance notice that we're in a downtrend, that there's no reason to take any long signals. So you could have taken that uh, sell signal in the weekly uh, euro dollar with confidence, and look what happened. This is coming in, this is a recent chart coming into this past week. All right, let's recap. We share with you the two methods that we have the most confidence in and that are the most popular methods at specialist trading. The PET D, which is a short-term trend identifying tool. Remember, it's not a system, it's not a strategy, does not give you buy and sell signals, it just fine-tunes the short-term trend. So you need some structure to tell you when to buy, where to buy, where to place your stop, where to exit. That's strategy number four. When you trade strategy number four by itself, it has a large amount of consistency, but when you apply it with the pet D to confirm the signals, well, now you've just created the dynamic duo. This is what our students and members rave about because we have testimonials coming from people all over the world. These methods are trading in over 80 countries where they swear it's the very first time they've been able to become consistent in their trading by applying this dynamic duo. So, before we go to questions and answers here in the last 10 or 15 minutes, I want you to ask yourself, just from what I've shared with you today, do you think these edges could have helped your trading? Even if you just said, well, Steve, I'm kind of happy with the method I'm using right now. Well, what if you applied the 50-period moving average? What if you just used that simple technique? In fact, I can almost guarantee that if you went back and looked at your last 10 or 20 trades, the reason why you had some losers was because you were out of sync with the 50-period moving average. That's how powerful that technique is. Okay. Now, because of 
all the people taking time out of your good Thursday morning trading here to come and view this, we want to offer you a special package today. This is our dynamic duo package where we're combining strategy number four and the pet D tool. You get instant course access. We're going to actually drop the price down so you're getting a two for one attendee special. So rather than pay for both of these very highly consistent methods, we're going to throw in both of these for the price of one. This comes with all the detailed instruction, uh, entries, exits, and stops, as well as signal alerts. In fact, let me show you what you get here uh, if you're applying this for stocks. You will be getting email alerts when a strategy number four signal is generated. Now, not on all signals because there are just hundreds of signals each and every night. But just to, you know, once again, as an educational tool so that you know what to look for, I post what I feel are the best setups that hold the highest probability for success on a nightly basis. Now, this was posted on the 23rd for entry of the 24th. This was just this last Monday. All right, on the close of the 23rd, we generated a buy signal in MCD. This is what you would have received in an email alert telling you uh, to go long MCD. We blocked out the entry and the stops because, once again, it wouldn't be fair to the people who are already in the course who have paid good money for all this information. But you will be receiving this. Sometimes you have only one signal. Sometimes you have 10 signals. These are all just learning tools. After a few weeks of practice, you'll be able to spot them on your own. You won't even have to rely on this. So just to let you know, we sent this out to all of our members in the course. And as we see here, price is above the 50 period moving average. So that's telling us that we're only looking to go long MCD, McDonald's. And on the 23rd, we closed in the top quarter of its range, as you see here on that bar, in the top 25%. And according to all the other rules, taking into account all these other bars in our pattern recognition strategy, it met all of the qualifications to go long. So if you were a skilled, uh, experienced trader, you could have actually gone long on the 23rd. But once you're learning this, if you're new to this technique, we can teach you how to go long the next day. Okay. But anyway, that was the day the signal was generated. And to give you more confidence, if you were still on the fence, all you have to do is apply the pet D. And we applied the pet D. And as you can see, all the bars have been green. So the pet D was giving you the confirmation to take that buy signal, roughly around 94, 95 level. And then look what happened. In just two days, you had, would have had a five point gain using this simple strategy and confirming it with the pet D. This is an actual signal, people, that generated two days ago that you could have taken advantage of. And I took the snapshot just a few hours before we started today. Now, it doesn't just stop there. I know some of you may say, well, Steve, I don't trade stocks on daily bars. I'm an intraday trader. I like to trade futures. I like to trade intraday commodities. All right, let's look at what happened today. I took the snapshot just a few hours ago, the first hour of the opening of trading. If we look at a tick bar chart, this is a tick bar chart of the E-mini, okay? We have the 50 periods, simple moving average plotted. You look down here just to let you know that this is an actual chart. We see here the date is 226, which is today. Now, coming into this day, price was below the 50 period. But then we bounce back up, and we see here that the pet D changed colors, changed green. But then the automatic uh, uh, signal identifier generated a sell signal on this bar here, okay? And as well, the pet D turned the color to red. So this was our confirmation to go short. So you could have taken this in the first half hour of today's trading and made a quick six-point gain in just about 15 minutes. That's $300 per contract. If you were trading 10, that's $3,000 in the first uh, hour of the trading in just 15 minutes. So just to show you that we're not just showing you older charts the way so many other uh, presenters do where they just cherry pick things that work. I mean, I've shown you uh, these examples and techniques where you would have had some minor losses, but I've also shown you where it does work, and then I've also shown you in any market, in any time frame, and as recent as just a few hours ago. So this is why we're really strongly suggesting that you take advantage of this two-for-one attendee special. You're going to get the strategy number four with all the rules, entry, exit, stop placement, as well as conservative and aggressive ways to trade it. You're also going to get the, the uh, Primo Early Trend Detector, the PET D. And as well, you'll get the download. So in other words, you can uh, use your charting software package to generate all the color bars on your charts, as well as the up and down arrows when a signal is generated. You'll get weekly signal alerts, as well as uh, both the add-ons, and then access to my personal email so you can email me whenever you'd like. Now we have a lot of, as I stated, we have members who are trading this in over 80 countries, from hedge fund traders to first-time traders. So please bear with me if it takes 
uh, more than a few hours for me to respond to your email, but I'll answer them uh, as soon as I can. Now, our sister site, which I talked about before with the uh, uh, ProTrader Strategies with the Facebook account, they market and promote all of my strategies, all of my courses, okay? I'm just the teaching aspect of the company, but they market and sell. On their website, they're offering these uh, two methods individually for close to $3,200. But because you've taken the time out to come and hear me speak today, because of the special offer, we're dropping the price down to $1,995. And included with that, we realize that that still may be a little bit too large of a sum for some people to come up with in one sum. We're also including payment plans. So you can talk to the people at ProTrader Strategies, develop some type of a payment plan so that you can be up and running as early as today with all of these rules, with all of the uploads and everything. So if you're interested in taking your trading to the next level, if you want to get results such as the ones I just shared with you, here's how to get involved with Specialist Trading and ProTrader Strategies. You can go to our sister site, Pro Trader Strategies, you can email uh, any one of their trading consultants at trading at protraderstrategies.com or you can call them directly at area code 310-598-6677. Now that link on the very bottom is the link that takes you directly to the sign up page. So if you're ready uh, and just you know uh, convinced that you want to take your trading to the next level and begin trading with the Dynamic Duo, all you have to do is just cut and paste that onto your browser and it will take you to the automatic sign up page. You will get everything up and running right away. Okay? If you're uh, still uh, thinking about it or you want to put together some type of a payment plan, call the people at, trading, at uh, Pro Trader Strategies or email them and they will uh, devise something for you so that you can be up and running as early as today as well. Now, if you look on your chat box in the, in the GoToWebinar column on the right, you'll see that uh, they have posted the direct link. So all you have to do is click that on. You won't have to cut and paste the link at the bottom of this slide. You can just simply click that on. It will take you automatically to the sign-up page if you're ready to start trading the Dynamic Duo. Now we just have about 10 or so minutes left. I want to thank you for holding off on any questions. I'll open up my answer box, my question and answer box, I should say, right now. And uh, let me start at the beginning so I don't want to bypass anyone. Um, Rashid is asking, sir, would you consider showing IWO weeks, uh, or I'm sorry, two weeks of any stock on a five-minute bar instead of your regular PowerPoint and cherry picking, <laughs> please? Unfortunately, uh, we can't do that because it's a PowerPoint, and also I showed you a number of losing trades. So uh, cherry picking, actually, Rashid only has to be involved with winning trades. But I showed you SNDK as well as the E Mini, as well as GPC, a number of trades where we had losers. But we show you how to uh, avoid those many times with the Pet D. Uh, Robert asks, uh, let's see, you've been able to, uh, Robert was having technical difficulties. I'm sorry, he was unable to hear anything. I think uh, he already spoke to someone at ProTrader Strategies. I think it was your, your actual computer you were having problems with. Sorry about that. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, see some people had, a number of people had problems with the sound. That's why we did the sound check earlier, and it seemed we seemed to have no problem. So it most likely is with your connection. Uh, Earl asks, who uh, supplies the color bars you spoke of? Not all charts have them. Well, actually, we supply you with the, uh, the upload, with the add-on, in other words. But uh, I think what you're asking is, uh, on what platforms does it work with? It works on four of the major platforms. It works on TradeStation, NinjaTrader, MT4, and Metastock. It also works with Thinkorswim and NinjaTrader, but there's a few things you have to alter to get that. But once again, all you have to do is contact the, the, our tech support uh, at ProTrader Strategies, and they can have you up and running in a really short time with Thinkorswim. There's just a few things that have to be altered a bit. Okay? But we supply you with the color bars, then you just have to upload them onto your charting software package. It's extremely simple. Uh, BC is asking, why is the 50 period simple moving average chosen? That's a good question. In my 38 years of trading, that's the way it was introduced to me, but in my experience, the 50 works well in all time frames and all directions as the overall trend. And you can experiment with this on your own because, uh, you know, we don't, want to overcomplicate our trading. And the way you overcomplicate that is by using one indicator for one time frame for one market and then switching and using different indicators for another market, another time frame. We want to keep the same constant indicators or applications on the same screen regardless of market or time frame. That's how you keep them simple. 
Now, the 20-period moving average works great for shorter time frames. The 200-period moving average works great for longer time frames. We have found over the course of applying all these techniques in 38 years that the 50 works best for all markets and all time frames. Therefore, if you're trading a five-minute chart or if you're trading a monthly chart, just ask yourselves, where is price in relation to that 50-period moving average? If price is below, don't even consider buying anything. I know from time to time you'll see some great setups and you'll go, boy, I wish I could have bought that, but Steve says you're not supposed to buy anything. Remember, this is a numbers game. We're looking for consistency. We're not looking for home runs because, trust me, over time you'll have maybe one or two good trades, but over time you'll give it all back because there's no consistency in trading out of sync with the trend. If you think there is, go ask all the people that were trying to buy crude oil this past couple of months and ask them how well they did by buying below the 50 period moving average. Okay? And now that we've had that nice long run up in the markets on a weekly time frame, ask them how well they've done trying to short the markets while price has been above the 50. It's much better to be in sync with the overall trend and then you simply apply the pet D for the short term trend. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Uh, BC also asked, will this also work for trading options on ETFs and the multiple move types ETFs like SSO? Yes, you know, I personally, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't trade options and I don't trade binary options, but we have another number of members who do trade those markets and they do very well. They have levels, high levels of consistency, but what they simply do is instead of buying a stock or instead of buying a future, they just transfer over and go along the calls or along the puts. Okay? There's no strategies that we teach or incorporate as specialist trading such as spreads or, or uh, things, uh, condors or things of that nature. We don't, we don't trade those markets because once again you start to get into that realm of, of overcomplicating things. You try to keep things as simple as possible. A buy signal happens, you just buy. A sell signal happens, you just sell. Okay? We don't want to overcomplicate things at all. Uh, uh, Mahmoud uh, asks or says, I'm sorry, hello Mahmoud, he's a student of ours, he goes, uh, I use the Pet D strategy for, it's wonderful stuff, thanks a lot Mr. Steven, you are more than welcome Mahmoud, he's a student of ours and he's a relatively new student who's done very well and that's why, where we say right off the bat, you do not have to be a seasoned trader with 30, 40 years experience to trade these techniques, okay? Uh, all you have to do is be someone who's willing to, to study, willing to paper trade for a while, and willing to have the courage to let go of conventional wisdom. And just know that the only thing you need to look at is the chart in front of you. There's no need to waste your time pouring over news events or earnings to figure out, uh, you know, what you should do. There's no reason going to a, a chat room or a trading room listening to someone or other people trade to get ideas. Everything you need to know with our techniques is in the chart in front of you. Keep things as simple as possible and you'll get on to that road to consistency, okay? Uh, let's see, Zach is asking, uh, yeah, he's having trouble with the sound. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I think it may be the connection, but uh, we have a number of people who are hearing us okay, other people just can't. Uh, Vichy is asking why can't we just use the PET-D by itself? That's a good question Vichy because the PET-D is simply a trend identifier. It's, it would be similar to saying why can't we just use the 50 period moving average by itself? Well, you know, so you're going to buy, there's a number of people who would buy when price closes above the 50 then closes below the 50. There's no real consistency in that, okay? Indicators are not meant to be strategies or tools are not meant to be strategies. This is just a complementary tool that really increases your odds for success. Now, within the course, which you receive in this dynamic duo, we show you different ways in which to apply the pet D, different from what I shared with you today. So this is, we give you four different ways to trade it in a pullback scenario as well as a, a uh, consolidation scenario. We also show you how to use it as a stop technique. So there are lots of different ways to use it. It's just not a strategy or a system. We don't teach or use any systems and we just apply strategies. It's a great uh, confirmational tool or a great tool as a complementary technique. Okay? Uh, Mr. Newton, Oystein Newton, he's a new student of ours, is, uh, has two questions. Hello, he's uh, calling from the, or I should say watching from uh, Europe, I believe. Says two questions, Steve. Do we get the arrows for life if we buy the dynamic duo? Yes, you do. Uh, as far as I know, those are yours to keep. This is not something that dissolves after a couple of weeks and we're going to charge you. In fact, 
uh, we have had discussions because some hedge funds are interested in purchasing the pet D in, in our applications where uh, we may in the near future go into some type of a leasing uh, format where you would have to pay for this each and every quarter. So if you're truly interested, now is the time to take advantage of not only the discount, two-for-one discount, but also you have lifetime membership. Okay, So these are yours for life. Uh, second question, do the color of the bars change during a candle, or does it give the final color at the beginning of the bar? It's a very good question, Oystein. While the bar, regardless if it's a candle or an open, high, low, close bar, while the bar is, has not yet completed, in other words, let's say you're looking at a 10-minute bar. While we're still waiting for that bar to complete, it's still within the 10-minute time frame, the color may change back and forth because of what the formula is based off of. It's not going to change red, red, green, red, green, red, green. We rarely see that. But maybe every couple of minutes it may go back and forth depending on what's happening in the market. But once it closes, once that 10-minute bar closes, let's say it closes and the bar is colored green, it will never change anymore. It will be set at green. It does not go back and reformulate itself. So if the bar is still open, in other words, you're looking at a weekly bar and the week hasn't concluded yet, or if you're looking at a tick bar chart and the ticks haven't concluded yet, yes, you may see a splashing of red, a splashing of green. Okay, But once it has concluded, once that bar has closed, the color stays there. It does not recolor itself. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Oystein. Uh, Adam asks, uh, in the Petty method, do the three consecutive bars of the same color need to close a higher high to each other bar? Uh, that's a good question. No, not really. Uh, remember, that technique is just a conservative technique just to make sure that the trend has changed. Because I'm sure you saw such as that weekly bar chart of uh, the E-mini uh, where the market has been going straight up for the past two and a half years. Every once in a while, you saw a red bar. Now, had you just taken that red bar for what it was and sold everything, well, you would have been kicking yourself because the market all of a sudden went back up on the next weekly bar. So we're just looking for three consecutive red bars. It does not matter where they close. It does not matter the formation. It just has to be three red bars because that pretty much tells us that the, tr the short-term trend has changed. Now, as I stated earlier, that technique, that conservative technique of determining when a trend has changed works much better on the higher time frames, anywhere from you know, daily on up to weekly, monthly, even hourly it works all right. But when you start getting to tick bars or you start trading with five or ten minute bars, because of the way intraday trading is set up, you may get a lot of whipsaw. So I, I don't apply it that much or tell my students to use it that much on an intraday time frame, okay? Uh, Larry asks, is this being recorded? Yes, it is, Larry. Um, they were, just go to uh, Approach Your Strategies or call or email the people and they will send you a, a link, okay? Uh, remember, for the people requesting Thinkorswim uh, and asking if it works on that, Thinkorswim users uh, simply uh, uh, they, they simply use uh, a free NinjaTrader platform and download, and they can use it free uh, uh, while applying live data for the pet D. So it's very simple to set up. It's just a minor alteration you have to make, but you'll be using NinjaTrader and you'll be using your data that you get for Thinkorswim on a free platform in NinjaTrader. So you don't have to pay for anything extra. Uh, so the platforms uh, that it just automatically uploads to are TradeStation, uh, Metastock, NinjaTrader, and MT4. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure, Christopher, I understand your question. How to get the pet D chart and how to set it up weekly or monthly? Well, you know, that's all part of your charting software. Your charting software will just automatically change to weekly or monthly or daily depending on, on uh, you know, its format. But the pet D will automatically change to the time frame. So it doesn't matter if it's a five minute chart or a weekly, it automatically uh, configures to the time frame you're looking at. Uh, let's see, let me check here. We got some more questions before we have to sign off. Uh, uh, will, this is a good question from George. Will your programs work with candles? Yes, they do, George. We tell you a way in which to configure. Very simple. You don't have to change and alter a lot of things. Just a way to, to configure the colors on your standard uh, candlesticks. And it's very simple. In fact, I use these on candlesticks myself. Uh, I just didn't plot candlesticks today because I wanted you to actually see what the green and red look like on the Pet D. 
But once uh, you, we show you how to do this, it's very simple, and you'll be able to see uh, green and, and red bars on candlesticks as well. In fact, it works extremely well on candlesticks. Um, let's see here. I'm see we're backtracking. Um, Alan, Alan, uh, hello, is, a, is a, a customer of ours, and he's asking, Steve, excellent presentation. I were to trade a volatile future, the crude oil or, or gold, and use a 13-range bar, do you think that this package of Pet D and Strategy 4 uh, would produce reliable signals, or in that too short a time period? Thank you, and once again, this was a terrific presentation. Hello, Alan. Yes, I've, I've uh, corresponded with Alan. And, you know, Alan, once again, I think as we stated, there's no way to tell in advance how it would work with a market that I don't currently trade because I, I, I don't currently trade uh, uh, crude oil or uh, gold futures. I mainly concentrate on E-mini and some stocks. But all I can say is wherever there is a trend and wherever, you know, you have some, uh, you know, uh, pattern recognition that, yes, I could say that there will be consistency, but you have to have that trend in place. So if you're trading a very small time frame, you know, small tick charts or small ranges, Obviously, there may be some whipsaw action, but that's okay. All you have to do is go to a, a different time frame, and you'll get some nice trends. And, you know, it's just that the smaller time frame, regardless of what market, regardless of what style, you're going to get these uh, whipsaws or type of rangy markets and noise, what we call noise, because that's just subject to every smaller time frame. But trust me, I've seen this work on a number of markets. We have members who use it on. Uh, you know, commodity futures, you use it on ETFs, you use it on range bars, and have reported back with high levels of consistency. So judging from what they have told us, yes, I see no reason why it wouldn't work. But once again, it doesn't come from my personal experience. It comes from people who have, have used it themselves. Uh, uh, Oystein, once again, says, uh, just some info. I have had it for two days now. Yes, I know. As, as I stated, Oystein is a very new member of ours, and it's giving amazing results, Steve. If this goes on, I'm your biggest fan. Well, uh, thank you, Oystein. But remember, we always instruct all of our students, because I know a lot of people's eyes light up, in the beginning to always paper trade, because there's so much more you can learn. I know a lot of people's eyes light up when they first start applying these, and uh, they're still, uh, you know, you're not studying the method. Remember, our goal is to have you trade on your own. We don't want you relying on what I post for signals. I don't want you emailing me and asking me, what should I trade? That goes against my entire philosophy. There's no way you can become a consistent trader, in my opinion, if you rely on an outside source to tell you what to do. Now, this outside source can either be an indicator, it can be a tool, it can be a chat room, it can be some guy on TV. So what we want to do is give you the tools and the techniques and then have you apply them. So the best way to come to that process is to paper trade. So paper trade as much as you can until you really feel comfortable. But thank you. That, that, was a, that was a nice testimonial, uh, Oystein. A few more questions before we have to sign off. Uh, do you teach how to scan for valid setups? Well, you know, I think that, Dennis, that's a great question. We teach you how to scan for signals and to see which ones are valid. So what we do is we show you what signals to look for and what a valid signal is, but then it's very simple on your sharding software to, to apply some type of a scan so that you can have that available on a nightly basis. First thing we want to do, though, is show you what to look for. We don't just want to blindly have your charting software scan it, and then you say, okay, well, we have 20 setups here. Uh, I'll take each one of these. And, you know, you don't understand what the process is. I'm more about teaching you what the strategy is, and then ultimately, once you've learned what to look for, then you can start thinking about scanning, okay? Okay. Uh, Time for just a few more questions. Uh, jo oh, Joseph Nasca, he's a he's a he's a also a student of ours. Uh, let's see, he joined Steve's presentation at 1 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you're probably having technical difficulties once again. Uh, I think well, probably the best thing to do would be requesting a, a video link of this. We recorded this. He seems to be having some technical difficulties. I think he just entered during the question and answer portion. Uh, Elgin is asking if it's possible to check some signals. Unfortunately, Elgin, once again, this is a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation. I don't have the capability to look at a real-time chart right now because I wanted to teach you uh, what this is all about. But uh, once again, this is really an educational course. We don't just want to you know, show you. I showed you probably <laughs> 100 slides today of what works and what doesn't work. So trust me, 
uh, I think one student was thinking we cherry picked. I think they must have missed about five or six losing trades we, we share with you. We're in no way cherry picking with you. We're trying to show you what works and what doesn't. We're trying to show you how to get added consistency. Now, I know a lot of you started out 2015 thinking that this year was going to be where everything turned around for you and you're going to start really becoming profitable and consistent. But ask yourself that. In the first two months of the year, have you achieved that consistency that you're looking for? Because that's our aim at Specialist Trading. We're not in any way trying to promise you that you're going to be making a living in the first month after you learn this technique or that you're regenerating thousands and thousands of percent gains each week. We don't believe in that and we think you should run away from anyone who teaches that. But what we do try to instill are sound methods that have stood the test of time that have shown uh, results in consistency. And this is what will sustain you, not some fly-by-night method that hits a home run every once in a while because those can just as easily lose everything. What we want is to have a two-step forward, one-step back approach where we have a couple of nice uh, winners under our belt, maybe a small loss every once in a while, followed by a couple of more nice winners. And we showed you that with a number of examples, how we had a, a small loss here, but then we made it back on the next trade. This is what will sustain you. This is what will have you trading 10, 20, 30 years down the road, not some fly-by-night system or technique that really doesn't have any consistency to it. So ask yourself, if you're not to where you want it to be in the beginning of the year where you promised yourself you would be, I strongly advise you to take advantage of this two-for-one special. You're going to get all the, uh, the things I share with you today, plus 38 years of experience as your mentor. I'm going to be your personal mentor teaching you how to apply these. You can contact me whenever you'd like. So once again, in closing, if you're really interested about taking your trading to the next level, contact the trading consultants at Pro Trader Strategies. You can email them at trading at Pro Trader Strategies or call them directly at area code 310-598-6677. Now, you see the uh, link there below. You can copy and paste that onto your browser. It'll take you directly to the sign-up page, but you can also go to the chat box in the column to the right which has the link automatically there and you can simply click that on and it will take you to the sign up page. But also remember we have uh, 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 put together a special, a, a special where you do not have to come up with a large sum, you can have a payment plan. So if you want to construct some type of payment plan, call the people at ProTrader Strategies and they can put that together for you for a small deposit. You can be up and running as early as today. Okay. In closing, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I, I hope I passed along some great free information for you so you can hopefully apply it to your trading. I really thank you for taking time out of your Thursday morning. And as you take one last look at our disclaimer, I hope I educated you in some way. And I look forward to all of you becoming students and members of mine at Specialist Trading. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.